the bharatiya janata party on march 2nd released its first list of 195 candidates for the forthcoming lok sabha election bjp leader and son of senior congress leader ak antony anil antony thanked party leadership for his candidature from patanamthitta for lok sabha election exuding confidence in winning elections anil antony said this is going to be a historic election for bjp i am i thank the Bharatiya Janata Party leadership, Honorable Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi ji, Amit Shah ji, Nanda ji, Santosh ji, all the leadership for the trust they have shown in me and for giving me this historic re- responsibility in Kerala. This is going to be a historic election for the BJP where we are all very sure that the NDA will get more than 400 seats, BJP will get more than 370 seats across India under the leadership of our Prime Minister. And in Kerala also will definitely it will be a record breaking uh, performance for us where in history we have never bharatiya janata party has never won a seat before but this time we will win many seats to strengthen our prime minister's hands and i am very very indebted to the leadership for giving me this responsibility to ensure that one of that many seats from kerala will be mine i will do whatever it takes to win we will win this election our biggest strength is our prime minister and his guarantees which he has been delivering in the last 10 years in the next Uh, five years in our prime minister's third term we will be the third largest economy in, in a few years down the line we will be a vikasit bharat all because of the vision of our prime minister and this is a big responsibility for all of us to contribute towards that mission this is a big responsibility but we will all be fighting very well in the ground kerala is ripe for change both the udf and ldf have been coming alternatively there but Kerala is going further and further behind when compared to rest of India. Right now, this is going to be one of those elections where the people of Kerala will be choosing for a change. You will see multiple BJP candidates winning and I am very sure that I will be one of them. Union Minister Rajiv Chandrasekhar, who will be contesting the Lok Sabha election from Tirvantapuram constituency, spoke about his candidature on March 2nd. The Union Minister expressed gratitude to the party leadership he further stated that the bjp will have a decisive mandate in the upcoming election i am very honored because this is as you know after 18 years of public life and of serving in the rajya sabha this is the first opportunity i have got to contest in the lok sabha and that our prime minister and our home minister and our party president have chosen to field me as their candidate in the capital of kerala trivandrum Uh, we, a state that i belong to state my family comes from is a great honor i am very very excited i am very happy and of course it is a campaign i look forward to and uh, it is a campaign that i will uh, start very shortly and uh, steer the discussion and veer the discussion to the vital issues that confront our people of trivandrum which is about development which is about the lack of opportunities for the last 10 years despite india moving forward they have uh in a lot of ways not got all the opportunities that prime minister narendra modi ji has created due to the congress uh, uh, congress presence in the in parliament from there as well as the cpm government so i think uh, the challenge for me and the opportunity that i see is that uh, the duo of the indi alliance of uh, both the congress and the cpm which have held kerala back which have held trivandrum back for several years and decades uh needs to be replaced uh, that it is a time for change and i hope to uh, do this on the back of a good robust debate on development and opportunities uh not a single mp i'm left from the kerala and uh, now you got a ticket from the trivandrum and also sashi tharoor how would you see your uh, uh, campaigning strategy no our campaign strategy is very simple our campaign strategy is uh, always going to be very simple because it is about politics of performance the last 10 years prime minister narendra modi ji and the bjp and the nda government has delivered and developed uh, so much uh, the fu- the present and the future of india as you know the the gov- narendra modi ji inherited a shattered economy with high inflation in 2014 and over the last 10 years he has transformed it to the fifth largest economy of the world from the fifth most fragile so therefore we will take these kinds of issues to the people of trivandrum and i have absolutely no doubt that uh, the people of trivandrum this time will decisively support and the people of kerala will decisively support prime minister narendra modi ji and the nda
the first list of bjp candidates in kerala and their constituencies are as follows tiruvanthapuram rajiv chandrashekhar attingal v murali dharan patanam titta anil antony alappuzha shobha surendran thrissur suresh gopi palakkad c krishna kumar ponnani nivedita subramanian malappuram dr abdul salam kozhikod mt ramesh vadagara praful krishnan kannur c raghunath kasargod ml ashwini the list of 12 out of 20 candidates in kerala was announced on saturday march 2nd news desk kaumudi global Thank you.